as a kid when I was a teenager, we would come here, you know, the whole summer, stay at Bay 14, and we'd eat before we'd get on the train to go home. I lived in Brooklyn at the time. They used to have an orange aid at that time for a nickel. The Frankfurters were, I think, 10 cents. That, I was lucky then, I didn't have to pay. <laughs> After the war changed. After the Second World War, I'd say Coney Island changed. I, I personally feel. Prior to the World War, Coney Island was the thing. Coney Island was it. Because you can get here for five cents. From all over, from Queens, from Manhattan, from the Bronx, all over. First thing I think of with Coney Island is a picture of 1928 with my grandparents courting. And my grandfather's wearing like this one piece black uh, bathing suit and it was a big um, big deal for them to come to Coney Island. My family's from New York, from Queens and Brooklyn, so we're from this area. I don't know, it reminds me of old New York and old New York was um, just really special. I, you know, it wouldn't have the brass Donald Trump buildings or anything like that. If you see like the old movies, they're brick buildings. It has a lot of, I don't know what the word is, a culture that we don't see anymore here, so Coney Island reminds me of that. We used to go to the beach, hundreds of thousands of people on the beach. Oh. Hundreds of thousands. Years ago. Always, always crowded. You had to walk over the blankets just to get to the water. That's how jammed it used to be. I remember we lived in Ridgewood, Queens. They used to take two trains on a on a Saturday morning, six o'clock in the morning, and we'd be under the boardwalk eight o'clock in the morning. Have fried egg sandwiches. And we for could breakfast. not go. We oh. could not have our fried, fried egg sandwiches and our coffee unless we went in the water. First, go into the water first, come out, and then have your breakfast. We used to come here and pay five cents for a subway. We used to come here with a quarter. We were like millionaires. Over here, uh, Steeple Chase Park, I think used to go in there for a quarter. And they had a maybe 10, 15 rides, all kind of different things, you know? You know, I used to go in, um, in the cars, you bumpy cars, you bang each other, you know? That was... We used to get a big kick out of that, the kids, you know? Well, I, I went on a parachute jump in 1939 in the World's Fair. And that was the one that they brought over from the World's Fair to here. And they made that a landmark. You can't knock that down. And, uh, well, you know, when you're young, you, you know, you, you don't you fear anything. You don't fear anything. You, you go up, a lot of people got stuck there on the top. And sometimes I had to wait hours in order for it brought down. to be brought down. It's almost like a, a carnival. You know, there's people on the boardwalk, you know, everybody's walking, there's people dancing, there's musicians, there's puppet shows, there's games, there's rides. It's, you know, an amusement park and a beach, and, but it has this urban flavor to it. So it's just a little different. It's not your usual state fair.